Hello, here once again, um, cut the chat. Roman Polanski. Oscar award winning Oscar filmmaker. Award. What, what film, what film? What? You won an Oscar for the pianist. Apparently, what happened in 1977, this dude got convicted of sexual assault of a 13 year old girl. It's all allegations. It got the girls drunk and um, gave her drugs. And he performed oral sex, intercourse and sodomy. Sodomy! On the girl. On the girl. On the girl. Basically, they, they convicted him. <laughs> They said that he was going to serve like 45 days in jail. When he found out that he was going to serve more, I don't know how much more it was. Since 1977, he ran away. He did a bit Where did he go? To France. To France. <laughs> so, so, so in this time that he's wanted for this crime, he's directed a film. He's made a film. And he won an Oscar. And he won an Oscar. <laughs> They're making a statement out of him. They don't necessarily want him for that crime because they've had chances to get him before. Of course, you know because I mean? if you're winning Oscar, <laughs> thank yeah. you. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I failed to turn up for a producer and they came to my house. You see when the sugar babes come out, the original sugar babes, you lot killed me with your your kind of choreography. You see that like mm. that smooth, that, loved it. Then you started kicking people out, and then I, I heard that like Keisha, you was the aggressive one. You're from the hood, you was from the estate, <laughs> and you just wasn't having it. And it was your group, and you understand the sugar babes change, whatever else. Now they got rid of you, Keisha. I, I you know what? I'm dedicating this show to you, Keisha. <laughs> Keisha. <laughs> Say no more. Keisha. I love you. If they're gonna go on, they can't call them sugar babe. Heidi J and ML. That's what I'm I calling agree. them now. I'm not calling no, them. No, but I say I say Keisha, Mutya, whatever the other she go on. Yeah. They should do this thing, she call themselves the babes. They took out Keisha being the dark skin girl. They put the light skin girl, Jade, in because apparently they want to break America. I've been telling people for the last how many years? Dark skin people are in fashion. It's not a light skin thing no more. It's not the 80s. That's why you're going to hear. Light skin monkey. They're always a quirky, edgy band. And I think taking out Keisha and replacing her with someone, Jade is very talented, but she's a bit generic. Do you know what I mean? You don't care. Yeah. You don't care about Jade. I met them like together, and I don't think it's Keisha's angry or that she's bad mind. I just think she regulates, like, yeah. it's like, <laughs> this is my group, yeah? yeah, so you're gonna answer questions this way, and I started this, so you're gonna do this, you're gonna look this mm -hmm. way, and don't fuck up, because this is my thing, and I started it. And I think you have the right to do that yeah. if you've been in a group that long. T-Mobile have recently been bought out by Orange. Why do you think that is? I, I know why it is. <laughs> T-Mobile is the only phone network that you can be on, not pay your bill, yes. for three months, <laughs> speak to them, and they're like, all right, sir, but you know, can we have the payment? I used to work yeah, in the phone food. shops, in phones for you, and I know. See, black people don't come in for T Mobile, yes, yeah. every time. Every time. Yeah, that's the only reason every time. Why, why everyone's on T Mobile. I don't think it's a race thing coming up. No, it's, oh, it's, it's not, not a race thing. No, no, if you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a race thing. You worked in London, you know, to like. If, as soon as you leave the M25 Team Mobile was outside London Team Mobile Talking about the 5 day pass <laughs> <laughs> Everyone jumped on it at £5 pound. <laughs> then, it, sorry, then it went up to £7.50 Then you realised, hold on wait 5 day pass is a contract Cause yeah, you're paying like £40 pound a month anyway Just to talk to people on Team Mobile <laughs> Orange Wednesday you get cinema yeah. and Pizza that Express But that's people don't know about that That's the only way they can get black people Could you give some freeness with them? You get food, food, yeah, food, 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 food. Like food. they were doing the cinema People was like, I can watch that film on Pirate TV <laughs> 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 my name is name is Pwachi. I am a sprinter. I went to Olympics. I placed six overall in the 100 meter final, uh, which made me on the day the sixth fastest woman in the world. I'm Jeanette's teammate, Tyrone and Edgar. I'm a professional athlete as well, sprinter. I also went to the Olympics. I just qualified in the semi final. For a full start? Yeah. So are you a bit, are you a bit premature like that? I went to the World Championship, came out with a bronze medal in the relay. Alright, what, what kind of money are we talking? Because we like we all know how much footballers get paid. Depending on how good you are, and I'm okay, I'm pretty good, so I get government funded. So if you want to know where my salary comes from, that comes from the government. So I get a certain amount like, every month. It's not, not, not to the key. No, 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 like, no, 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 no. Are we on footballer it, figures? No, 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 It's not even enough for like for me to sit here and say, like, bang, I'm comfortable, I can do what I want. What are you 
Oh, what you, what you, you, got, you got a new car, innit? Yeah, what you got? You got a new tip. What is it for? Taxpayers' money. Taxpayers' money. She's an MP. So we're both Nike athletes, so we get paid through Nike. So we get a salary and a bonus. And a bonus. Yeah, yeah so, so depending everything. on how fast you run, if you make okay. the championship, how you do at the championship, okay. yeah. how many medals you come back. Like, there's a lot of stuff that you stuff to do time-wise as well. Yeah. And finally, again, like most of you will probably know through racing. So like Golden Leagues, Grand Prix. Oh, Golden Leagues money. Golden Leagues yeah. money. If you win all six of your Golden Leagues, you win a share of a million dollar jackpot. Ooh, but it is not money, that simple. Yeah. Like, um, it is the one. Well, only a few people have done it. Yeah. 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 There's only a few people who have done it. When they do do it, there's only a couple of people that have done it by themselves and got like, a full million to themselves. But there's always been about two or three people who have got to the top and then split the million amongst themselves. Oh, football and basketball and baseball and American football have like completely warped people's minds in terms of what a sports person should be earning. They are colossal figures. Well, athletes are probably the hardest working people in, in, in sport in terms of what we have to do in competition and in training. If you was to train to run under 10 seconds, I can't. <laughs> you sleep for two weeks after because your body would just be wrecked. Like if you judge, like ask Tyree, if he runs fast enough, if he runs a PB, like you get sick, I get ill after yeah, I run my personal my rest because my body's just, serious? Yeah. Oh, your body goes into shock, it's never seen that. Yeah. See that. We just you think that you man have run, no. you're running around the oh, track yeah. with your flag. Yeah. And there's still the race. You understand? Really deep. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, called, it's called championship flu. So, like, you have to be so fit to be able to do that. So like, in and out, back to back, your nervous system will just shut down. It's, to me, it's the travelling. The like, that's what people understand. Like, even Jeanette, me and Jeanette last year, one time we went Korea, Back to London, London, back up to Asia again. Yeah. Asia all the way back to yeah. Europe within five or six days just to make some yeah. money. The problem is as well, like not a lot of people trust that sport. Exactly. That's the biggest what do you thing. Mean? Well, what are you saying? We, did, we were trying really. not to say nothing about drugs. Oh no, was you not? Sorry. No, but no, but you. Okay, no, yeah, but you, it, is, yeah. it is. It is. A, it is. A, it is a part of the sport, and like it's something that you know, like we work hard to kind of not get involved with in terms of not letting it get to us who we thinks on what or whatever. But like. A lot of Joe Public will sit down and say like, "Wow, they, my dad still talks about Ben Johnson. Like that's '88. Like, yeah. My dad still he's still burnt. I'm like, Dad, get over it. Like we moved on 20 years later. But you know, it becomes an issue for some people who just cannot trust what athletes do. That then becomes a problem for private sponsors and investors into the sport. So that's how you got to kind of look at it. Have you ever been in a position where that's kind of been offered to you? Never. Never. Like, never. Nobody around. Never. Never ever have I ever been in a position where someone said, "You know, hey, why don't you try this?" I think. To take drugs as an athlete, you have to have either a very naive personality or a cutthroat personality where you just don't give a damn. Like, and as much as I love my sport, I also love my body. Can I go back to the money thing real quick? Yeah. Out of interest, are your fees equal? I probably would get. I'd probably get the same as Tyrone now, even though I've achieved a higher level because I'm a female. I remember watching athletics ten years ago, or however long it was. A man just bus. 10 seconds, yeah. you understand? Yeah. So, ha, ha, as a professional athlete, how much faster? I'll say 9.4 nine, nine high, 9.5 low. Yeah, I'll try and put it into perspective. You're moving, if you're, if you're running 9 seconds for 100, you're, as a human being, you're moving at 12 meters per second. Now, I could easily say, like, 12 meters, 12 meters per second, probably the length of this shop. So, man's getting from there to there in, in one, one second. second. Do the maths. If man's getting to, <laughs> if you're getting there at 10 seconds flat, and the next man's getting that nine seconds flat, and you're getting there one second ahead of a person. He's twelve meters in front of you. So from there to there is one second. So if Tyron's running ten flat, and mm. you say he's crossing the line here, Tyron's still over there. Do you understand what I mean? Like yeah. that yeah. is the kind. Of, so when you're talking, <laughs> when you're talking tenths, like we, we, you have to bring it to the wire. Like you have to bring it to the hundredth. Like races have been won and lost. I've lost gold on like two hundreds, and that I'm telling you is a, is a chest. on the show or would like to get in contact with any of us please email cutthechat at gmail.com BBC
Sky Sports. Don't know 